Not your keys, not your crypto, but what does that really mean? If you're new to crypto, choosing the right wallet could be the difference between keeping your funds safe or losing everything. Let's break it down simply. Hot wallets, cold wallets, and how to protect your crypto. You're going to learn everything you need in this video. You may be asking, what is a crypto wallet? A wallet stores your public and private keys, not your actual coins. So if we take a look at an example of a public address, we'll click receive here. And this is an example of a public address. You could share it with friends, families. If you want to get paid for services or a product you're selling, you will be sharing your public key. And this is uh, essentially like an email. You have your private key, which is the password to your email. So you'd never share it with anybody. And anybody asking for your private keys is going to scam you and try and steal your funds. So your public key is your public address that you can share with people. And the private key is the access, the password for that wallet, for that public key. Every transaction is just a signature using your private key. Um, keys prove ownership and allow you to send or receive assets. So there are many different types of wallets. We're going to dive into what hot wallets are and then cold wallets. So you guys are looking at Exodus. It is a hot wallet and there's many examples that we'll dive into. They're connected to the internet at all times, very easy to use. And here's another one, MetaMask, very uh, popular wallet that you can use in DeFi, use to hold, use for everyday transactions, but they are more vulnerable to hacks Great for daily activity, as mentioned, but you're vulnerable to phishing, malware, and it's a great idea to use them for small amounts or active trading or diving into DeFi, new ecosystems, because you don't want to use a cold wallet. And you might be wondering, what is a cold wallet? So let's dive into it. But here's some more example of hot wallets. You can see we have a bunch here that we use different ecosystems, different coins, and all that great stuff. So Ledger is a pretty popular hardware wallet. You also have Tracer. That's the one that I would highly recommend to you. So uh, completely offline, as you can see, it's a device, almost like a USB stick, only connected to signed transactions, far more secure for long-term holding or large amounts. So if you're trading with a small amount on your hot wallets and you make a big trade or you're getting paid a big amount, send it off to your cold wallet. It'll be safe. You know, you have the private keys when you get them written down. We'll give you guys some tips to make sure that you employ so that you're always safe. And a, a cold wallet can't be hacked online as bad actors can't access your private key. Also, there are many ways to store your private keys from metal backups, paper wallets, and um, I'd highly recommend also testing your private key. So if you get a device like this right here, after you load it up, you, and you start it up fresh, maybe send $10 and then restart the device, wipe the device, use your private keys, and if you get to that $10 and that same public key, then you know that you are ready to go if you ever lose the device, if you ever need to restore it, and you're safe to go. So that's the difference between a hot wallet and a cold wallet. Now let's jump into custodial versus non-custodial. So custodial is your crypto being managed by a third party like Bybit. And you can see here on this exchange account, we have some crypto loaded up here. So same thing as like a cold wallet. We wouldn't recommend you using or storing all your funds here just in case the website gets shut down. Uh, somebody gets into your login and you lose all your funds from somebody sweeping your account. Or, you know, as I mentioned, there's a bankruptcy, there's just a malicious actor or platform you're using, and then you lose all of your crypto. There's a huge saying, not your keys, not your coins, because you don't actually have access to the private keys when you're sending it to a platform like Binance or Bybit or any of those popular exchanges. Here's an example of a non-custodial wallet. You control the keys. You have 
a ton more responsibility as you have to manage the private keys, but you own the asset directly and you're in control 100% of the time. So you need to decide how much you want to leave on exchanges, hot wallets, cold wallets, um, and I would recommend to trade with a tiny bit because if you can't turn one into two, how are you gonna turn 100% of your portfolio into 200, right? So make sure you're also testing, especially if they're new websites, new dApps, new platforms, you're using a hot wallet. You're not necessarily connecting that cold wallet to trade that's gonna be stored somewhere extremely safe and you only take it out when you're doing large transfers, when you're receiving large transfers, maybe a extremely expensive NFT or something along those lines. So let's dive into some safety tips. We also have an academy that you could learn everything about crypto. So never store your seed phrases online or in a screenshot. I see a lot of people taking screenshots, uploading it to the drive, and then calling it a day. The thing is with that, if your accounts get hacked, uh, people are extremely knowledgeable and aware of 12 words, 24 words in the seed phrases. So they will sweep your crypto. So never make a digital copy. Use metal backups or multiple written copies in sep separate safe places. Always, always double check wallet download links to avoid phishing and don't leave large amounts in hot wallets. For daily transactions, hot wallets are honestly the best, but for long-term holdings, cold wallets are king. And if you want a full setup tutorial on MetaMask or Ledger, we've done tons of them, but we're happy to make new up-to-date tutorials. Also make sure to check out Blockchain Academics, our new news platform where we're covering everything, tons of opportunities, crypto events, research. As I mentioned, we have a huge academy rolling out with Learn to Earn so you can earn crypto while learning. It doesn't get better than that. So hit the subscribe button and we'll see you guys tomorrow.